When I was a kid, the world didn't seem so scary. I'm of the generation whose families never locked the doors of their house, where kids roamed the streets quite literally until the streetlights came on, which was our cue to get home. Where there were no safe spaces or gender equity or political correctness. I've thought a lot about whether the world today is a scarier one than that which I grew up in, particularly since I became a parent and the idea of letting my kids roam the streets until dusk is seeming more and more unlikely and ridiculous. And I've come to the conclusion that this feeling that the world of 30 or 40 years ago was so much safer is not really true. That world, after all, was the one in which I was abused and tortured by someone and that was in part due to the fact that everyone around me wasn't worried enough about the world I was living in or the people I was coming into contact with every day in that world. So is the world really more dangerous and scary today than when I was a kid? If you watch the news, fake or otherwise, or get your worldview wholly from Facebook or Twitter or blogs that work on the premise that the plural of anecdote is data, then there's a good chance that you are probably pretty scared and worried about the direction the world is heading in right now. We are going to be overrun by militant and subversive refugees. Our borders are under constant threat of invasion from goodness knows who. ISIS is planning a massive terrorist attack in your city. Tsunamis, earthquakes and other climate related catastrophes are just a few weeks away. But the truth is, there has never been a better time to be alive. During the classical times of ancient Greece and Rome, the average life expectancy was just 28 years. At the turn of the 20th century, the World Health Organization says it was still just 31 years. Today, one in three humans born this year will live past 100 years old. One in three. The last 50 years has seen our average life expectancy rise more than in the previous 1,000 years. In the last 50 years, humans living in extreme poverty has reduced from a staggering two out of five to a stool really tragic but much improved one in eight. The average human earns three times more money when corrected for inflation than we did 50 years ago. Even 30 years ago, around nine out of 10 Chinese people, for example, lived in extreme poverty. Now, just one in 10 do. The things we actually need to survive, food, clothing, fuel and shelter, have all grown exponentially cheaper in the last 50 years. The world is a very safe place now. In fact, we've never been safer. Not only are there fewer conflicts around the world than in recent millennia, the conflicts that still occur now are far less lethal. For example, 50 years ago, civil wars around the world would kill on average 86,000 people. Today, that's down to 3,000. Back in the Middle Ages, 15% of people would die because of violence or war. Today, that's down to just 1%. The threat of nuclear war has dropped significantly too, as the number of nuclear warheads has dropped in the last 30 years from over 70,000 to around 20,000. Crime is down in practically every category in almost every country in the world. The amount of democracies has grown relative to the amount of dictatorships that have fallen. Literacy and numeracy rates are climbing all over the world, particularly in developing countries. We have moved from being a society of consumers to a society of creators. Our children aren't idiots who can't think for themselves and can't create solutions for world problems. That was us. Our children are much more clever than us. In fact, IQ tests have to keep changing and being recalibrated because people are getting exponentially smarter. The average person in the population should have an IQ of 100, but the average person now would score 118 in 1950, and in 1910, they would have scored 130, putting them in the top 2% of the population. In fact, in the last 50 years, the number of people who can read has gone from 55% up to 84%. Not only are we the smartest we've ever been, we are also the healthiest. Infant mortality, deaths in childbirth, mass epidemics, all down. 
The number of children who are malnourished has dropped by 25% in just the last 10 years. Climate change is real and we are causing it, but there are lots of places in the world that are cleaner and safer than they were 100 years ago. A car today emits less pollution while travelling at full speed than a parked car did from leaks in 1970. And the proliferation of electric cars, renewable energy and the fact that oil and coal are running out can only help us leave a better, cleaner planet to our kids and our grandkids. Despite our apparent appetite for gloom, any way you look at it, humanity is actually a triumph. It's the greatest success story ever written. In almost every way, we are healthier, richer, better fed, and safer than we have ever been. So why don't we believe it? Part of the reason is that nobody is saying it. The 24-hour news cycle and the ever-present politics of fear means that we hear all the bad stuff all the time. Success, happiness and growth doesn't sell books, it doesn't sell ads and it doesn't fill up 24 hours of news online and on television, although it certainly could. But there's also never been a better time for us to be creators, for us to democratise our news and information for us to control what we hear, what we learn, and most importantly, what we teach each other and our children. It's not all sunshine and lollipops. I don't mean for a second that it is. For instance, one in nine people in the world still do not have access to the amount of food that they need to live a healthy life, and that is far too many. But it's certainly nowhere near as grim as some people and some media outlets would have you believe. We can change that. We can speak about positive truths. We can encourage each other to live independently, be curious, be fun, learn, always, and teach. Yes, pessimism and sadness and fear are infectious, but so is courage and boldness and kindness. Maybe we could spread that stuff instead.